أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افت علينا فتوه العارفين ووافقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. We are in this special time of the year in this great month of Ramadan al-Mubarak the greatest month of the year. And I want to start off our program uh, in this special sacred blessed time by making a special dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we greet you with Ramadan Mubarak greetings, I want to make this special dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us throughout this month of Ramadan and accept all our ibadat, our acts of worship and accept all our dua our supplication to him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe and in good health and well-being. And I also want to include in the near intention of this dua to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect all of you from the coronavirus pandemic and its effects after. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, keep us in the shade of his mercy and shower upon us his special forgiveness and mercy and guidance so that we can remain on the straight path, the path of Sirat al-Mustaqim, the path that is pleasing to God Almighty. And also for you, whatever dua, whatever prayer you want to make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want you to put that knee in your heart and I would make this appeal to God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all your dua and take care of all your needs and remove all your problems. And so with that knee and intention, I kindly request you to raise your hands and join me in reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, the special prayer to God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbana taqabal minna, Rabbana bisiri al-Fatiha. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may God Almighty accept from us as we continue to observe this great month of Ramadan. We have uh, special programs coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada throughout this blessed month of Ramadan, our daily live stream broadcast. Because of the pre prevailing circumstances, all our programs are now broadcast on live stream, uh, including the Suhoor program in the morning. And it starts at one hour, one hour before Fajr time. I will continue until uh, Fajr. And then we have in the evening our Iftar program. One hour, starting one hour before Maghrib time. I will continue until Maghrib. And then our Tarawih program starts at Isha and we, our live stream of Salat Isha and Salat Tarawih. And all of this is broadcast on our YouTube channel. The, the link is www dot youtube dot com forward slash Sheikh Faisal. Sheikh Faisal spelled S H A Y K H F A I S A L. And you can email us or call us by telephone if you need any further information on this. But we'd like you to go to the YouTube channel uh, with the link I mentioned earlier and to subscribe to the channel. And then next to the subscribe button, there's a bell. So you can click on that bell and select all, A-L-L, -L, all for notifications. So then you will be notified of all the live stream programs we are having throughout the blessed month of Ramadan and after Ramadan as well. We, we have every Friday the live stream of the Jumma Khutbah and Salah from the Islamic Forum that you can join us and listen to the Khutbah and pray the Salah with us. And then uh, the live stream for the Eid Salah as well on the day of Eid. Uh, so do be mindful about that so you can join the live stream from the Islamic Forum for all the programs that we're doing throughout this, this period of time uh, to, to live stream broadcast the program so you can in your home, in the comfort of your home, participate in these programs as well, including the Salah and other, so many things throughout this blessed great month of Ramadan. I also want as a theme for the month of Ramadan to share this concept of the, the Prophet وسلم, in the blessed month of Ramadan. How the Prophet was in the blessed month of Ramadan. And one of the outstanding features of the Prophet وسلم, uh, this month of fasting and how he was so attached to fasting in Ramadan. And this month of Quran, how he was so attached to reciting the Quran in the blessed month of Ramadan. This month of mercy and forgiveness and freedom from hellfire. And how, how the Prophet may the peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him. Uh, would strive to achieve uh, these great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this blessed month of Ramadan. But the month of Ramadan, it's also a month of infaq, a month of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he mentioned in the, the hadith, in his sacred statements, many of the virtues of spending for God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the blessed month of Ramadan. And for example, in the hadith, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith of Imam Tirmidhi reporting it, uh, the best of charity is the charity in Ramadan. The best of charity is the charity of Ramadan. So you should be mindful to to avail yourselves of this great opportunity to get blessings in the month of Ramadan. And Imam Tidmidhi in the Sunnah also reported the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which he says, give charity without delay for it stands in the way of calamity. 
give charity without delay, for it stands in the way of, of, of calamity. And so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Blessed Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he demonstrated this concept by his own practice and the statements that he made to advise the Muslims what to do, that Ramadan is Shahrul Infaq, the month of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in this great month of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, Scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, Words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim and Ramadan Mubarak to each and every one of you. I want to share this wonderful opportunity with you today. Um, th there's a letter of, of appeal we prepared uh, for the blessed month of Ramadan. And I want to read this letter of appeal to you today. And this is uh, a letter of appeal for you to support the Islamic Forum, thanking you for your uh, past uh, financial support and a special Ramadan appeal for you to uh, support us in these difficult times of coronavirus pandemic. The letter says, Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. I pray that the special bounties of this noble month of Ramadan meets you in grace, courage and trust in Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thanks to friends of the masjid such as yourselves, this was another successful year from when we last sent you this letter, meaning last year Ramadan. We have been able to continue to provide the programs that our larger community has grown accustomed to, and you have played an integral role in facilitating that. So much has greatly changed in the past few months. Our world and society had to adjust quite drastically to the coronavirus pandemic with homes and everyday services being affected. Along with those affected, the houses of Allah, the masjids, have been severely distressed. For the first time in your masjid's history, the Islamic form of Canada's future is uncertain. With the suspension of Juma'a ah and our other weekly services, we have lost our steady stream of cru crucial everyday funds that would help us to keep afloat. To make matters worse, we have lost our connection with our community as a result of the measures of self-isolation, meaning the curfew and lockdown. Our Islamic school madrasa, with over 300 of our community's best and brightest students, have been put on hold. 
our Saturday Family Maulid, which offered a weekly space for families to enjoy the spirit of, of togetherness, has been interrupted. Our Thursday Halakha, which provided a setting to learn Islam academically, has been halted. This is amidst the continuing cost of masjid utilities, including the accumulating internet, web hosting, and back-end costs that we are paying as we have adjusted to live streaming all of our events online. I write this letter with, you in, with honest sincerity of the situation. Your masjid needs your help. The Islamic Forum of Canada needs your help. In order to keep the lights of the masjid on and keep the doors open while keeping the community connected online, through live streams and events of the highest level of quality, we are introducing a financially sustainable model for our masjid in this time of unprecedented difficulty. We are appealing to you to help sustain your masjid in this time by donating $20 or more per month. This small, small amount will make an incredible difference and will help us to carry through this uncertain time in our history. What is certain, however, is our trust in Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty. There is no doubt of my faith in this community to stand united as we go through this challenge together. Our situation is desperate, but I know that we will live up to the strength of the Muslim Ummah and live to see bright and healthier days in our masjid's future. By donating $20 or more per month, you will forever be a part of history when the strength of the Muslim Ummah was tested. And if you could afford more, then the blessings are more with God Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We will publicly recognize donors like yourselves on our nightly YouTube live streams and on all our social media platforms. Take a moment right now while everything is in front of you and send your, send your donation to the Islamic Forum of Canada by visiting our website www.islamicforumonline.com. We pray that Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you as we unify under this appeal. Amin. Signed by Sheikh Faisal, President of the Islamic Forum of Canada. That's our special appeal to you today, and we hope you can respond. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Ramadan Mubarak. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O oh, you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumwa, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Ramadan Mubarak to each and every one of you as we continue to enjoy the blessings of God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this great month of Ramadan. Uh, we continue our theme in this month of how the Prophet Muhammad was in the month of Ramadan. And uh, this month he described as Shahrul in fact the month of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he mentioned many of the prophetic statements about the virtues and blessings and benefits of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving your sadaqah and your donation and zakat and sadaqat and so on. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma he said that the Prophet ﷺ was the most generous of people. The Prophet ﷺ was the most generous of people. And this is reported by Imam Bukhari in the Sahih. Uh, and in other narrations, the Prophet ﷺ, uh, is described as someone who would spend as if there is no tomorrow. That whatever he had, he would just give away. He wouldn't keep anything. You just keep giving whatever he gets. You keep giving for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him with more. Because the Prophet said, Your wealth will never decrease as a result of you spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that your wealth will increase the more you spend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, then again, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas reported in the same collection of uh, Sahih Bukhari, uh, that the Prophet ﷺ was even more generous in the month of Ramadan. He was the most generous of person and he was even more generous so, than in this month of Ramadan. And, and he would be uh, so generous when Jibreel salam, the angel Gabriel, would meet him in, in the month of Ramadan. They, they would meet uh, one another every night in Ramadan. And Jibreel salam used to meet the Prophet every night in Ramadan till the end of the month. And, and they would recite the Quran among the things that they would do inshallah. So this is the Prophet وسلم, in the blessed month of Ramadan. Yet again, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhuma, he reported uh, this hadith from the Prophet وسلم, saying, saying that the Prophet used to recite the Holy Quran with Jibreel salam. Every night they would recite uh, the, the Quran uh, and they would complete it in the month of Ramadan. Uh, the angel Jibreel and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they would do this. And uh, th then he was described that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to be more, be more generous than the blowing wind which brings blessings and rains and much goodness. It sustains life. Uh, this is what uh, how the Prophet was in the blessed month of Ramadan. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us and help us to follow in his, in his footsteps. Amin, Amin, Amin. This dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously.
Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Ramadan Mubarak greetings special greetings to you of this great month of Ramadan being with us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless us with his forgiveness with his mercies with freedom from hellfire and the highest levels of jannah in this great month of Ramadan so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the month of Ramadan how he was we mentioned based on the hadith of the prophet the description of the prophet by the sahabas and so on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the most generous person he was generous at all times Uh, but he was even more generous in the noble month of Ramadan and the angel jibril alayhi salam angel gabriel used to meet the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam every night during ramadan they would recite the quran and complete it in the the month of ramadan the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet muhammad peace be upon him was more generous than the blowing wind that the wind which brings rain and much goodness and sustains life such as pollination and so on it sustains life really so the prophet was more generous than that you should try to be as generous as you can in the blessed month of ramadan this is something that we should be mindful of uh, we want to make a special appeal to you today i want to thank all the families uh, brothers sisters and so on that have donated to islamic forum so far uh, and we make a special appeal to you today to make a generous donation today and then to join the monthly pledge to donate something every month remember to visit our youtube channel Uh, YouTube.com/slash/SheikhFaisal for the daily broadcast, Suhoor program, Iftar program, Tarawi program, and much more that you would get there, inshallah. Uh, and also on Friday 1:30 for the Juma live stream broadcast, and then an Eid day for the Eid uh, broadcast for the Salah Khutbah and Salah, inshallah. So all of that happening to you. Uh, we we are doing this to serve you, inshallah. And please take benefit with this. Uh, go and. visit the youtube channel subscribe to the youtube channel youtube.com/shaykhfaisal so you can get all of this information then uh, once again the appeal for you the special appeal in this month of ramadan the the ramadan shares of $1000 that you can pledge and you can go to the islamic forum website islamforumonline.com uh, for to for your donation you can go to the donate page and it's all very uh, Uh, clear there and please contact us if you need any information anything about ramadan and eid and so on please contact us you can send us an email uh, to ifsinfo@gmail.com or shaykhfaisal@gmail.com or you can call us inshallah at 905-790-8859 uh, if if none of the organizers or volunteers are there to answer your call please leave a, a detailed message and someone will get back to you inshallah we want to be with you throughout this journey of ramadan. Ramadan and uh, together inshallah to get great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on do we meet again may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in this great month of Ramadan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Oh.